Good morning, good morning Nigeria, good morning River State, good morning Port Harcourt. Yes, this is Staff TV and we're live on the streets of Port Harcourt and we're here to take the newspaper reviews with you. I want to go through the newspaper headlines this morning being the, the 2nd of August 2021 and we're going to be going through all these papers with you. We want to go through the headlines, the ones that are hot on the burner, all the news that are affecting us. We're going to be talking to a few persons to know their opinions about this news and how it affects them directly. Okay, so right here with me, I have the Punch newspaper and we're going to go through the headlines of uh, this national carrier. Let's go through some of the headlines here. It says, petroleum consumption jumps by 340 million liters in one month. Nigeria's loans from World Bank AFDB rise to 14.35 billion under Buhari. Hush puppy. Suspended carry appears before four man panel this week. And right here on the newspaper headline, we see this very you know bold headline saying APC threatens to expel, suspend Oshu, Quara, Delta. Others aren't members. On the left, we see it says, We will not tolerate parallel congresses, divisive activities in any state chapter, declares APC. We will take our results to Abuja, Aribo Shola's group. No violence, it was heat free. Oshu Governor's group. Delta caretaker panel divided over Congress. There was no Congress in Acquire Bomb, says X Milad. Someone here that will comment on some of these headlines. Um, let's look at uh, the suspension of Abba Kiari. So, what, what's your take on it? Well, um, thank you very much. It's one of the good things that is done. No matter how highly pleased you are as a police, at least it's one of the best things that have been done in Nigeria. For most enforcement men are being suspended for what we are hearing. We are praying that the right should be done, most especially the, uh, the, the investigation. But I, it's, it's, it's alarming that someone that was supposed to protect us is, is finding himself in that kind of place. So it's a serious thing. If Nigeria is doing the right thing, it should be treated seriously, that particular matter. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Also, this headline is about APC threatening to expel, suspend or sue, Kara State, and other state uh, members. Um, what, do you have any take on that, sir? Yes, yes. I'm a member of, of APC. In fact, perhaps I'm a founding member of APC. We were the legacy party of APC. We founded this party in time of injustice in this country. But um, I found out some people, individuals, SEPA, SEP leaders, come into the party and I jack our struggle for better Nigeria. And the, the caretaker of APC, the body, in fact, is the worst in the history of Nigeria, uh, of the party. Because you can see what is going on in APC, especially even in River State, people claiming that there was Congress. There was no Congress. In fact, APC is, in fact, they are worse than a, a PDP. APC is worse than PDP because there is no there is no law. APC did not obey the law of the land. Everywhere crisis. In fact, they are failures. So, with what you are saying, uh, would you say that there is some kind of division and disagreement in the party? Uh, actually, if I, in my own world, I would personally take the party to court in River State. That's very strong coming from our commentator here. Thank you very much, sir. Um, so, other headlines from other newspapers? Let's take um, other headlines from other newspapers. That was the punch. That was the punch. Let's go to The Nation. The Nation newspaper here. Okay, sir, just give us your take. What do you think about the federal government's uh, reaction to Abba Kiari's? Uh, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about him and the Kalo. What about him and the Kalo? Good. Federal government should release him. Because he didn't, he didn't do anything to anybody. This is democracy. Talk your mind. So we can be talking. After each talking, you leave him. This is, this is the, the sign of democracy. You can't just be knocking people up and down. 
it's just here like we are in a, in a military road. This is not military road. So the solution, please, please. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> and then, do you know about the opening of uh, the enemy uh, artist of Israel's report? Yes, I had it. The cheating is too much. How can Sarah government be making pillows from uh, on their road without keeping that road in order? Is it good? It's, it's bad. So we should look into it and put that road in order so that uh, nobody will come out and block that uh, road. Because if you see something that is bad, you talk about it, and it's not wrong when you are shouting about it. So, what this was is doing is good. Thank you very much. So, we, uh, over the weekend, we heard about the APC Congress that has been described as a sham. Uh, but what do you think about? We don't know. Where will the APC? When I, when I see if they are easy existing or not, I don't know because I mean, as I mean, when I know when I get my brother, so that we 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 youth we get from them, but don't say uh, APC, PDP, that the same thing, that the same feather. I said I don't want to know about about the about their uh, case. Mm. That's my own. Thank so you. What I'm saying, huh? Yes. About the APC. <laughs> Since I was born, what I'm seeing in this APC, I've never seen it before. People are dying, hungry everywhere, bad road, bad corruption, everything. So, anything concerning APC will be way off. I should wear it off. It should wear it off because nothing good comes out. We do wish that nothing good comes out from ABC. Because number one, we all could have start food to eat. No way. One bag of rice, 40,000. So, I don't want that kind of thing. They should remove, remove it from us, anything like this. So, it is on that party. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. All right. All right. So, we would like to take your take. Your take. Okay, no problem, sir. Thank you. Uh, okay. All right, sir. Uh, we are talking about the probe of uh, Abba Kari by the federal government. What's your take on it? Uh, is, uh, one thing is that if they will actually do it, because this country, the, the justice favor those that are in authority. Mm. So they rule us with impunity. Mm. Because nobody ever is there to challenge them. So the the proof is just a camouflage. They will not do anything. But do you think the federal government has taken the step in the right direction? The, which federal government? The federal government is the same government that that uh, Abba Gary is in. So nobody can, uh, you know, can uh, can uh, can uh, you know go to court by himself. You cannot carry yourself to the courts mm. uh, to the judge. So uh, Abba Gary and APC are the same. So there's nothing like federal government here. So, so what, what's your take about the ABC congresses that uh, the PDP describes as a sham? Uh, well, uh, because uh, the party APC, I don't think they have ever existed. It's only that they, they were manipulated to be in. So there have not been any APC anywhere. So their congresses, which they, they thought that they have, uh, is, is not really working. It's not really better because they are all liars. Mm. They are all liars. Mm. Lastly, I'm waiting a comment as uh, regards the yeah. opening, the suppression of the protest by the LMA local government youth and the federal government's response to all of that. Well, what's your take? Well, they are doing well because we are the, the hen that lay the eggs have not been taken care of. Mm resources that this federal government is enjoying today mm. is coming from that direction. Mm. But nothing has been done to them. Mm. No road, nothing. Those youths there have no job. Mm. What the federal government will do is to come and cut a few of them, give them 5,000 5, and that's all. No employment, nothing. I don't know whether you have ever been to that LMA. Have you ever been there? Those youths doing nothing. So I think uh, it's the right, uh, right thing for them to do. So that let the federal government impact be, fe be felt there. All right, thank you very much for your time, sir. I have someone here with me, and I'm going to have him introduce himself. Sir, can we meet you, sir? Yeah, okay. My name is John Onoroji. 
problem. Stick your next time. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh. My name is John Energy from River State in Ukuri. Yo. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to ask you, you know, a lot is happening in our country, Nigeria. Uh, there's been a lot of changes in our economy, and the economy is on a downturn. A lot of complaints here and there. Uh, how, how do you keep up, sir, with your work? Uh, we thank God for everything. That's not what is happening in this country. Uh, I still go ahead to make sure that I ask my means. Without minding the economy of the, the country, because I say an innocent man does not does not deserve to eat according to what our president said. So a mission of the economy, if I'm to say uh, the problem is see that we in Nigeria we don't want to work, we only want to depend on the already made. Now a mission of economy now uh, in the agriculture sector, nobody is ready to work. Eh? Nobody is ready to work. Now, in economy, if you agriculture, we if you can invest in agriculture, I hope things will go more better. Now, just for instance, what is happening in the country now? Hesmen, Boko Haram, like in Ebene, as another part of the northern country. You understand? Because of the Hesmen, most of them are not farming again. Eh? So, I pray if the, the government can do something so they can be able to contain the activity of Hesmen in the country, I hope. And agriculture can help to boost the economy. Thank you. Okay, recently there has been uh, several increments in the uh, fuel pump price. How's that, how has it affected your job as a transporter? Of course, it affects the transport because when you buy fuel at higher rates, the 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 passenger the, still expected to carry them. At that month, they are buying fuel at one forty-five. Now it's one sixty-five, one seventy. So if you are to see, it will affect the the transporter and also affect the passenger. Because as soon as you buy food at a higher rate, you will like to cover your money. You will say by adding small thing to the transport in order to make sure that you meet up your target. And not even the fair price, the the, the motor pass now is at higher rate. Things you buy two dollars, you go to money, you become five dollars. So how do you meet up to make sure that you, you cover and you meet up to maintain your car? If from the passenger, if where you are, where you are collecting 15 naira, you want to make it to be 100 naira. So for you to service your car, to buy petrol, and also you have family. You have to also take your of your family. Not even family, there are people that don't have house, they pay house rent. Now, house rent is higher rate. The cheapest house in Port Harcourt now, that is the most cheapest, is 5,000 per Per month, so you know, this is you don't have any where all this is coming from. The, your your sources is from the transport, from the motor. So you have to add something for you to meet up your targets. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you. This is Star TV, and we're live from the streets of Port Harcourt. We've taken some of the newspaper headlines. We've also spoken to some people. They've shared their views about what they think about some of the very hot newspaper headlines today, and. Uh, we are wrapping up from here and we're going to reach you again tomorrow with more new super headlines with more interviews on the on burning marches that uh, that is trending now in our country thank you very much my name is william sabuli and this is staff tv